Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am currently about to go on base right now. I have a few things I need to go grab. I do majority of my grocery shopping on base at the commissary. Um, I just love going on base, but I do also need to go to the exchange, which is kind of like the Navy mall or like the military mall to look for a couple of things. Um, let's see. This morning we kind of just like hung out. I went to the gym with Stella and unlike the other day, if you guys remember from my last video when I was doing my makeup, um, she slept so good today. She took about a two hour nap, which is so nice. It is, oops, <laughs> it is currently one o'clock. So we're having a good start to the day. I don't know you guys, I'm just having such a good day. Um, my husband gets home next week and I don't know, like Christmas time, the holidays, just puts me in the best mood. Um, I did do my makeup today and honestly my hair is just, oh, the lighting is kind of bad, um, but honestly my hair is just at the point right now where I don't even want to do it. Like I need it dyed desperately, I need a trim, so I'm just kind of, wearing hats and wearing my hair up in a bun until I get this hair done because it's just, it's driving me crazy. So the other day when I was doing my makeup for you guys with Stella, I noticed I was, like I had like bumps or like breakouts here, which I don't have acne prone skin whatsoever. Like my skin type is luckily, like I, I like hardly ever break out. Like it's super rare that I do break out. But it like traveled to this side and I totally forgot that the night before Stella and I had went to go get, um, we went to go run errands and then I also got threaded and I went to this new girl who I've never gone to before. So I typically get my like peach fuzz threaded off just because it's a good exfoliant for your skin but also your makeup just looks way better when there's like no peach fuzz or anything. So I um, I went to this new girl and I usually go every like three to four months. Like I don't need to go often because I'm not like a hairy bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I went to this new girl and I know at the place I go to, the all like kind of, it's kind of like a hair salon. They all kind of run out their own booth and they purchase their own type of threading. Well, since I went with someone new, I think I was allergic to the threading because now I have, now it's going away, but like there's still a little bit leftover like bumps and irritation like right here. And you guys, you guys, I am scabbing. Like I have little like fine cuts like all along my jawline. I don't even know if you guys could see. Like see little breakouts right there? Like that is not normal. I don't even know if you guys could see the scabbing, but I woke up the day after I had done my makeup and for some reason it took two days to surface the scabs and I was like, what? What? This is not happening. So luckily they're going away and I don't think they'll scar or anything. I mean, I haven't been picking at them. I've been like leaving them alone. Oops. But yeah, I haven't. If the lighting's bad, I'm sorry. The lighting might be bad. I don't think I'll scar or anything, but I was like, what, what? This is not happening, like what the heck? And I'm just glad I got it done when I did and not like a week before Christmas or like a few days before my husband got back home because I'm not trying to be like super scabby. I'm not trying to be that girl who has like scabs on her face. Now I just know better to like not go to that girl who did it. And I don't know if she was like too rough or if it was her thread. I really don't know what it was. It could have been a mixture of both, but yeah. So that's kind of like what I'm dealing with right now. All right, well the lighting is kind of bad, so I will probably catch up with you guys. I most likely, I'm going, it's during the week, so the base shouldn't be crowded, at least like the commissary and the exchange shouldn't be crowded right now because it's during the day. Um, so I probably will be able to vlog a little bit on base, but so I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey guys. 
guys so I just got out of the commissary and I went on base and I didn't find too much actually at the exchange I bought Stella some new pink shoes that I'll show you guys when we get home and then I grabbed some more like superfood greens and then I went to the grocery store over here on base so I really didn't find too too much I am just about to put gas and Stella's in the back watching a movie um, so yeah, I will just catch up with you guys probably when I get home then. Today's not super exciting, just more like running errands. Alright, the lighting's bad so I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> You guys are gonna think I'm such a brat, but normally my husband puts gas in like my car or all of any of our cars that we've ever had. So when he's gone and I had to put my own gas, it, it sounds so like spoiled or like bratty, but I mean, I mean, it's nice having a man pump your gas. Like you don't have to stop at the gas station. And not only that, like I hate when people stare. I hate when guys stare. So when you're at the gas station and you're by yourself and you're a girl, I don't know why guys feel like they need a stare. I just, it's just so weird. Like maybe they think I'm weird because I stare back at them. Like, what are you looking at, sir? Please move along. But, all right, Stella and I are heading back home. lighting but part of Stella's um, Christmas gift came in is it blurry part of Stella's Christmas gift came in and I think it is what I'm thinking it is a hand towel that I custom ordered for Stella's kitchen yeah. came from Etsy <gasps> I think it is I think it is okay you guys hopefully this is as cute as the pictures were um, let's see Okay, so for Stella's play kitchen, I thought it'd be cute if she had like her own custom like hand towel for the kitchen, kind of just for decoration. You guys, this is so cute. Look how cute this is. Stella's kitchen. And the color theme is going to go perfect with it. So I'm super excited for that. I need to leave this in here though because... She's obsessed with um, rags too. Like she will grab a rag and she'll clean the floor, clean the walls or whatever it is. And she like scrubs, it's so cute. So I'm so excited to put this on her play kitchen. It's beautiful. I'm so excited. The shop is, and I love Etsy. I order like most of my custom items from Etsy all the time. But the shop's name was, Oh cute, and she included a free 20% off discount for a next order. Super exciting. Okay, the shop is, for some reason it doesn't say on the card, uh, or the packaging. I'll have to reference back to my Etsy account, but I'll let you guys know the shop name. All right, so I need to put these groceries away and then I'll show you guys a couple of things that I got on base today. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul, nothing too in depth. Um, but first, I'm gonna start off with the veggies. I got some green squash. I have some yellow squash, but um, I needed some green ones. I grabbed white potato. I grabbed potatoes for Stella. I really love red potatoes, but she likes these a lot. And I feel like in the morning for breakfast, these kind of 
like fry it better for her. I grabbed one onion and tomato because tomorrow I'm gonna make her either some Mexican rice or some fideo. And I also grabbed some sprouted Dave's Killer Bread, which I usually eat my avocado toast with Dave's Killer Bread. But also, occasionally I do make Stella some grilled cheese and she loves grilled cheese. The cheese I got for her is this provolone. So this is a quick lunch that I can do for her. Um, normally I try to give her lunch before she takes her nap. I grab some more avocado. I go through these so quick. More bananas. Okay, so I grabbed some of this. This is mine and my husband's favorite like drink you could keep in the fridge. So it's Bolt House, it's vanilla chai, and you guys, this is so good. I mean, this hardly lasts us like a whole week. Like we kind of go through it pretty quick. And I can't have dairy, so this is soy based, which is super nice. So it's dairy free and it's delicious. So if you guys could find this at your grocery store, I highly recommend trying it. I grabbed Stella some more Hungry Jack Funfetti pancakes. She really enjoyed these when I fed her them for the first time like a week ago. So I just grabbed the box this time. I grabbed her some more goldfish. I needed some more, um, I needed some more sponges to do the dishes. Um, I grabbed another Frank's Red Hot. This is another great like low calorie sauce. Basically zero calories. Yeah, this is another great zero calorie sauce you can add to a wrap. So my favorite quick and easy meal is to just do some grilled chicken and then tons of super greens and then I usually include like cucumber, tomato, or whatever I have in the fridge and then you drizzle some of this on top. Honestly, a wrap with Frank's Red Hot is so good. So I highly suggest trying that. I grabbed some more sriracha. I grabbed black beans, Stella and I love black beans. And right now she's super into green beans. So I grabbed her two cans of green beans, but I just cooked one right now. So I grabbed her this. So she hardly has dairy as well, but I really don't want her to be like lactose or like dairy intolerant as I am. So I'm gonna try making her my green smoothie that she really likes with this. I feel like it'd be a lot of good protein and vitamin D for her. We haven't really decided yet if we're gonna keep her off of dairy milk, but I'm just gonna try it for now. And I just bought the bottle, so I didn't wanna commit to a full container. So this is my favorite nighttime tea that I drink every day. The Yogi Stress Relief. It's lavender and chamomile, I believe. I know it's lavender and chamomile. It doesn't say right here. But it is lam lavender and chamomile, and it's so, so good. I always, you guys, best combo. This is probably the best honey you will ever try. You could get this at Whole Foods. It's a little pricey, but it's so delicious. You could really taste the difference in a good quality honey versus a cheap quality honey. My husband loves when I buy like a sourdough baguette, and he just puts this straight on top. He'll toast it and then put this on top, but this is so good. I don't do that. I usually just put it with my tea, but I swear, best combo. You guys will definitely thank me later. Um, I grabbed some more Ziplocs for my chicken. So I grabbed a pack of chicken, but I usually just store it for Stella and I in the freezer. I grabbed some more salmon. These are so good, these are delicious. So the Beyond Meat hot Italian sausages. So what I'm gonna do is probably freeze two of them and then keep the other two in my fridge. And this is so good to throw with your eggs in the morning for like a scramble by itself. I basically love almost anything from Beyond Meat, but the hot Italian sausages, girl, try it. Let me know how you guys like it, but I promise you, you guys are gonna love it. So delish. And then I just picked up a rotisserie chicken and that's pretty much it. I did like a quick in and out type of thing. Oh, and I grabbed her some more Little Movers Huggies and I picked this up. So I seen this and I needed one more thing for her kitchen. So it's a cute little grocery basket. It's Melissa and Doug, but inside includes tons of food that she can put in the cabinets in her new kitchens, which I thought was super cute. I also picked up, I guess I did, I guess this is, I guess this is more of a longer haul than I thought. I picked up a big bow to put on 
her play kitchen because we're gonna set it up on Christmas Eve. So I got that. I also picked up some more of my super greens. I've been missing this. I haven't had it in about two weeks. This is super good just to add in your smoothies, which is what I normally do. Um, I grabbed some more vitamins. This one's biotin. I usually always take my vitamins. And then I did grab Stella these super cute shoes. So, th so they're velvet and they're pink, obviously, and they have glitter on the side, but I, I thought they were so cute. And they were only $12, so they had tons of other things I wanted to grab her, but I'm always buying her stuff, so I'm kind of trying to reel it back for a little bit, at least until Christmas is over. And then I needed some Gorilla Glue for something Stella broke. So yeah, that's everything that we got on base today. We were there for a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's okay, that always happens. I'm gonna put all this stuff away, eat my salad, make my iced coffee, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so tonight for Stella's dinner, I just cut up some rotisserie chicken that I bought at the grocery store right now, some potato, and she's been obsessed with green beans lately, so I did some green beans on the side. And that's pretty much it. I always make sure she has some type of good protein and veggie in her meal. And then obviously, you know, the potatoes, carbs, is gonna fill her up as well. Um, she's been in this phase lately where she's not eating too, too much in the mornings, but at dinner time, she scarfs everything down. So I've been feeding her more of like a bigger meal at, for dinner. She probably won't finish all of this, but she'll eat a lot of it, which is, which is good. Um, I'm not too hungry yet, so I think what I'm gonna eat, I picked up, let me grab it. I picked up this, oops, the seaweed salad from the store right now. I love seaweed salad, like it's so good. I could probably eat this every day. And I'm really craving an iced coffee, so, and eat this. don't mind my hair I just took the hat off but before I end the vlog I wanted to share with you something else that I got customized for Stella so Pottery Barn was having like a huge sale around Cyber Monday and I got Stella this super cute custom Santa bag look how freaking cute this is um, I believe after customization it was about 40 bucks or so but guys look how stinking cute so it has her name right here on the patch it has her name it also has like really cute stitching right here the quality is so good which is not surprising for pottery barn but i wanted to share this because i think i honestly got it probably three or four days after ordering it so the turnaround was pretty quick on this but, so i thought this would be super cute and a fun tradition to start with stella so every year I'll take this cute Santa bag out and we'll fill some of her presents in them. We'll just tell her that Santa came and brought her her Santa bag and every year we'll take it out and it'll be kind of like a fun tradition that we could start with her I thought. But the quality is so good. It's honestly such a beautiful bag. I think I paid about $40 after customization but I wanted to share with, share this with you guys. So if you guys are interested in this, I thought this would be a cute tradition to share for you guys to start with your kids. Um, definitely check out Pottery Barn Kids and I'm pretty sure you guys will get it before Christmas. Um, it will let you know beforehand before you order it. Hi! It will let you know before you order it if it's gonna get to you guys on time. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here and hi. <laughs> We're gonna end the vlog here. Say hi. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video. We'll see you guys in our next video. Say bye. Okay, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> I love you. Say bye. <laughs> bye guys. We'll see you in our next one. Say bye.